Now, Mike, this is gorgeous, mate. Tell us about this. I will do, Richard. Watch and learn. BMW have, for a long time, been seen to be one of the best cars on the road. People would stump up serious amounts of cash to get their hands on a set of four wheels with that special little badge. But you know, there was a time when BMWs weren't so groovy. City slickers didn't twang their braces at the mere mention of the Bavarian mark. But there was a car to change all of that. The BMW 3 litre CSL. <laughs> In the early 70s, BMW were desperate to beat Ford in the European Touring Car Championships, so they developed the 3 litre CSL to do the job. Winning the championship six times, this car was responsible for launching BMW Motorsport. CSL stood for lightweight and BMW took that very seriously because the car came with aluminium boot lid, bonnet and even aluminium doors. They stripped out the carpets, they stripped out air conditioning, power steering, electric windows. The car even came with plastic rear windows and a plastic bumper and they asked a price tag of £7,000. £7,000! Were they mad? Us Brits wanted some luxury. We wanted power steering and electric windows and even some carpets. Because for £7,000 in the 70s, you could have bought a nice roller. So unfortunately, these early stripped out models were poor sellers. And in the end, BMW were forced to bow to the luxury demands of the British buying public. Creature comforts crept back in like carpets and electric windows and power steering. But this car also came with 200 brake horsepower, had a top speed of 134 miles an hour and would go from 0 to 60 in 7.3 seconds, which was quick enough to screen past the rival's Alpha and nimble enough to keep up with the legendary Porsche 911. While the CSL was lightweight, it needed more grip, and so BMW come up with a Batmobile. With its mad pre-wind tunnel wing kit, this car won almost everything it entered. But that pedigree cost money, and unless you've got a spare 30 grand to spend, I recommend sticking with the standard CSL. So, what do you look out for if you want to buy one? Well, don't worry too much about under the bonnet, because the old 3-litre six-cylinder lump is fairly bulletproof. But if it does get knackered, you can pick up a new one for around two grand. Indicators, lights, even ashtrays, they break, but you can pick them up second hand or even brand new still today. Body colour is important. Green, blue and cream cars are more desirable, but they're more expensive. Where gold is less popular, but that means it's cheaper. Note there's one really, really important thing about buying a 3 litre CSL, and that's body structure. And if you want to know what to look for when you're buying one, you're going to need to get it on a ramp. So get the car up in the air and check behind the front bulkhead. It's underneath this plastic panel here. It's really important to get your hand up underneath and feel for any signs of rot because it can have a knock-on effect leading to new wings. Also, while you're here, you can check for any signs of oil leaking. You can check the exhaust system. But what's really important is to check the rear diff and make sure the bushes ain't perished because if they're gone, it will give a snatchy feel and you don't want that. The nearest cousin to the racing CSL on the road is the Batmobile, but that cost up to £30,000. If you want that classic performance and history without the monumental price tag, go for a 3 litre CSL. There's only about 500 of these circulating around the world today, but you can pick one up for a bargain if you look around. There are a couple of different approaches to buying one of these babies. You can either buy very cheap but say no more than £2,000 and do it up yourself or plump for the expensive at £14,000. That way you can guarantee the quality of the bodywork. Anything in between and there are plenty of them, you're going to need some time in your hands. A serious wad of cash and a friend who's really clever at restoration projects. Because if you find a sore one, it's going to hurt. Other than that, if you find a good one, and I mean a good one, you will turn more heads than the Rolls Royce of the same era. Now that's saying something. Well, that sums it up for this week. We'll see you next week for the last programme in the current series. Until then, haggle hard. See you then, bye bye. Hey, Richard, I could really do with that fork line of turkey. Turkey, mate. Well, you need to swap something. Well, you need to swap. Joyce. Get another one of them. <laughs>